it's Monday, October 4th. I'm filming in Palm Court again, and I'll be explaining that in a minute. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to do, and so this video might go by fast, but it's probably gonna be really long. Two things that made today really, really awesome was one, the weather's really nice, the wind's been blowing, and it's been cool, and it's kind of actually messing up my camera a little bit, but that's okay. And the second thing that was awesome was I got two things in the mail today. I got a package from my youth leader full of candy for Halloween, and I got a letter from my uncle, and it was awesome because I don't usually get mail. To answer Omar's question, yes, my hump day treat would be snickerdoodles if in fact I had the ingredients with which to make snickerdoodles, but I don't. And so my other hump day treat would be these really delicious ice cream sandwiches that are made of like M&M cookies. They're so good and I get them like once a week. They're so good. My question for whoever I roll is what is the song that you use to make yourself happy? Or what is one of the songs that you use to make yourself happy when you're down? I've got a challenge for all the wi fires I want you to videotape yourself dancing a really embarrassing dance to any song that you want. But it can't be a dance that already exists. Like, it can't be the chicken dance or the Macarena or the Soldier Boy. You have to make up your own really embarrassing dance and dance to it. Okay, so I have a little bit of explaining to do and I'm going to make it really fast because I've got other things I need to do in this video. I deleted my Facebook account this week because there was a lot of words being thrown everywhere. Some people, mostly my own family, which really royally pisses me off were telling my parents what I was saying on Facebook instead of coming to me and it was just the wrong thing to do and it was offending me and so I deleted my Facebook and now I don't have one. Sorry if you can't get in contact with me. Try to leave comments. To add on to that, I will probably be making a Tumblr or, or rather I'll be making my Tumblr public knowledge but here's the catch. I'm only giving it out to people who I know who are between the ages of 15 and 25 and you have to find your own way to contact me if you want it. I'm not putting my contact information on YouTube. Also, I think having to do the extra work will be less of an incentive for people who aren't really my friends. Also, sorry if it sounds angsty, but you know, as I told you before, I was like really miserable for a while. This week is Domestic Violence Awareness Week, and my college does something every year. They people who know the college or are friends of the college, have been to the college or in the college, if they have been victims or they know someone who has been the victim of some sort of domestic violence, they write it on a t-shirt and then all the t-shirts are hung up in Palm Court. So today I'm filming from Palm Court. Statistically speaking, one in three women will be sexually abused. That means one third of the female population of the world will be sexually abused before they die. That means if you're thinking about it, one of us wi fires will be sexually abused before we die. The only way to stop the cycle is to prevent it. And the only way to prevent it is to speak out. If you know anyone or are yourself a victim of some sort of domestic abuse, assault, or molestation, speak out. You have the world behind you, you just don't know it yet.